How to find the least common denominator of two fractions. You need to know how to find the least common multiple. So if you don't know how to do that, review that first before you're proceeding with this video. And you can do so by clicking on this red button. And it'll take you to another video I created that shows you in more detail how to find the least common multiple. Fractions consist of two parts, the top number and the bottom number. Or in mathematics, we call this numerator and denominator. Finding the least common denominator, you have to find the LCM of the denominators. And what's the purpose of finding the LCD? It's to add or subtract fractions that have different denominators. So let's look at an example. Here it says find the LCD for 5 eighths and 9 twentieths. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at the bottom numbers or my denominators and I have to find the LCM of each number. So I'm going to look at the multiples of 8, A16, 24, 32, 40. And I can stop at 40 because I know that if I once I start counting my 20s or the multiples of 20, 40 is the next number in that list. So my LCM is 40. If I wanted to express these two fractions with the new common denominator, I am going to simply look at my 8 and I'm going to change it into a 40 by looking at what's the multiple. Well, to get from 8 to 40, you have to multiply by 5, and I'm going to do the same to the numerator. And when I simplify this, I get 25 over 40. And then, when I look at this fraction, to change my denominator of 20 into a 40, the multiple is 2, so 20 times 2, and I do the same to my numerator. So 9 times 2 is 18 over 40. So now I can see here that my previous two fractions, 5 eighths and 9 twentieths, are now rewritten as equivalent fractions, meaning 5 eighths is the same as 25 fortieths, 9 twentieths is the same as 18 fortieths, except that now these two fractions have a common denominator in this situation here. So I can see that the least common denominator of 8 and 20 is 40. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up.